Hi there, it's Karen at Cory Paper Crafts here. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in central Scotland. Today I want to show you these lovely pieces of work. Um, they're not my work, they're that of my friend and fellow crafter and fellow Stampin' Up! demonstrator Trisha Smith of Smith's Crafty Creations. Um, she sent me this lovely card and a gorgeous tag as well. Lots of, of work has gone into these with little vellum flowers and several tags. Um, stamping, fussy cutting um, and a gorgeous ribbon on the tag as well. <coughs> Excuse me. And it's using the Bird Ballad Suite, I think it's called, in the new catalogue. I've not got them all learned off by heart yet and again some lovely vellum flowers on the card and inside um, a wee birdie with a fussy cut birdie's fussy cut and a, a, a fussy cut flower stamped on vellum as well and I'm not sure how the light is but there's a little bit of Wink Castella on the birdie too so I got these um, in the post from Trisha this week uh, last week, she we live very locally to one another actually, we only live oh, not even 10 miles apart and we became friends through Stampin' Up um, and we've met for coffee and, and I, I saw her again on stage um, in April and we, we're about to, to meet hopefully in the very near future for coffee again and Trisha messaged me and asked if I would like to take part in a card swap, hence her sending this card to me and um, <laughs> when I stopped laughing um, and, and she laughed as well, for those who know me, I'm not, cards are not in my comfort zone, um, I'm very much a, a bag and box girl and um, I said to her, hmm, I'll send you a box, not a bag, but I thought, do you know what Karen, get a, a card made and you know send one back to Trisha so I said yes I'll take part in that um, and got my thinking cap on to see what I could come up with and I did have a little think about what I could make for Trisha and I made a card very similar to this one this is Coastal Cabana cardstock this here um, and just a couple of pieces of designer series paper on the front here with the triple banner punch I used to make the banner points on the end, some glitter enamel dots and again um, the little birdie out of the Time for Tags stamp set which I've shown in a previous video, it's one of our host sets um, so for information on how you can um, get hold of a host stamp set there are there are three or four um just get in touch and i can let you know and i've already shown you this in a previous video just a few days ago um when i made this little box to hold the little bottle of shower gel and i'm totally in love with this wee birdie so he or she features in my card again so once I'd made this I had a little think about it and I thought actually I've not bought any Father's Day cards yet and it was Father's Day last Sunday here in the UK and last Sunday as I'm filming this was the 16th of June. So this actually inspired me then to make our Father's Day cards. I made one for my um, dad, my father-in-law and one for my hubby as well um, using the Come Sail Away suite and again um, a, a, a stamped and die cut the anchor because there are gorgeous dies to go with this suite and two pieces of DSP and the stamp which perfectly says Happy Father's Day from the um, the um, oh gosh what's the Geared Up Garage stamp set so um, this is it here. My mind's going a bit blank. I'm filming this in the evening and it's the end of a, a very a very long day. So um, I'm having some word finding difficulties just because I'm tired and my brain is not recalling the names of things as easily as it might have done had I filmed this earlier in the day. So 
This card measures 8 inches by 4 inches and the card I made for Trisha measures the same. This one's just slightly shorter just because I was using up a, a piece of card. Um, but I'm going to show you how I made this one here um, and I'm going to change the cardstock colour a little bit. So if I put this out of the way I'm going to stop rabbiting on and show you how to make it. So for this card you're going to need a piece of cardstock and this is um, Calypso Coral this colour so you need a piece of cardstock cut to 8 inches by 8 inches and scored at 4 inches and a piece of card for the liner just on the inside of the card like this cut to just a quarter inch smaller so it's three and three quarter inches by seven and three quarter inches and two pieces of designer series paper one that measures um, two inches by six inches and another piece that measures one and a half inches by six, uh, by five inches sorry I'm not too bothered about the measurements and, and don't worry too much about the, the measurements for the card because it's more just about putting the card together but those are the measurements that I used for this particular size of card but you could do the same making it a square card as well as a, a longer card and you can do it as a tent fold as well it just so happens that I scored it in half to make the card open that way so to begin with I'm going to fold on my score line and burnish that and then I'm going to just pop my liner on the inside with my fast running out liquid glue so I'll just pop some on the back of here um, as I've mentioned in a previous video um, some of my little guinea pigs share this room as well and I've got other little baby boys in here at the minute they're only here on their holidays they're not going to be living here permanently but they are now deciding that they're both wanting to be in charge so if you hear any funny grumbling noises then it's the baby piggies uh, trying to sort out who's boss so just ignore them they'll probably end up getting around like the other boys do but we'll just ignore them for now so i'm just trying to line that up so that i've got an even border all the way around on the inside of my card and because it's white even though i have washed my hands i'm just going to rub it on the back here to make sure it's stuck down nice and flat so all i need to do now is remember that that's in there and put the paper on the right bit of the card given that it's been a long day I don't trust myself so I'm going to use my triple banner punch um, to pop the, the banner cut on the end of my paper triple banner punch because it will do three different widths of banners two inches one and a half inches and one inch so my two inch piece of paper is going to just pop in there nicely and I just want to make sure that it's gone right up to the top and punch it out and then the same with the one and a half inch piece that just sits nicely in that middle slot just check it and punch and that's my banners done as easily as that so I'll get the punch out of the way and um, I'll pop this, oh, I should really keep my glue upside down, pop this on top of the other piece of paper before we stick it onto the card. just want to make sure that those points have some glue on them to make sure they stay stuck. Just pop that into the middle of this piece of paper here. Just make sure they're lined up at the top and they're fairly central I'm happy with that, whoops a daisy and same with this and then just stick that to the front of the card and again just making sure that I've got enough glue 
to make sure it sticks because I am going to be sending these cards to somebody so that's the inside that's the part that my paper is going to stick to and hopefully I'm not getting my head right underneath the camera here and all you can see is my hair on top of my glasses just make sure that's fairly central and that looks okay so just make sure that sticks down and again because that top paper is white I'm just going to give it a rub on the inside and that's my paper on so what I need to do now is my little tag here so my little birdie um, I've already got him on a block so I'll pop that onto my Calypso Coral ink make sure it's inked up and just stamp them or her onto Whisper White cardstock uh, and that's all the ink we need for now so I'll put this away before I lean in it um, just make sure that's dry just for a minute I'm not sure if I ended up liking having two stamped things on the front of the card so this little bit at the bottom I'm just going to try something different in this card and just see if I like it any better and I'm not going to know until I try it so if I bring in my timeless label punch which I couldn't remember the name of in, a, in, in my last video because again it's new I'm just going to punch out my birdie just make sure that I've got a, an even border round the outside it helps if it's straight as well Karen and without actually punching it I'm just going to hold it for a minute and have a quick look yep happy enough with that and I'm going to grab a couple of dimensionals and pop them on the back and stick that on the front of my card oops just about there kind of in the middle but it doesn't have to be exact at all so that looks okay now for the bottom of here I'm still going to use my scallop circle to punch out a piece of DSP so if I grab a piece of what have I done with it I had a little bit of that paper already and I don't know what I've done with it so I might just have to grab another piece out of the packet for now and my one and three eighths scallop circle punch hmm it would have been handy if I could have found that little piece of paper but it doesn't matter because I've got another packet of this paper anyway <laughs> and I'm going to try and get some of the all of the colours but certainly quite a lot of the calypso coral just punch that out and then I'm going to grab my follow your art embellishment kit which I absolutely love and it's the Calypso Coral bits and pieces that I want so um, I'm going to try mm, is that too big? no actually that would does that look okay on there do you think? or mm, do I need a different colour actually to make it pop a little bit I wonder I'm not sure if the Coastal Cabana flower might look a bit better given that there's quite a lot of colours in the suite actually mm. decisions, decisions, let's have a wee look let's take the two flowers get mm, let's have a look at the heart as well See, once you start to doubt yourself, that's when you start thinking, oh, will I, will, won't I, will I, won't I. So, I don't know. You can maybe put in the comments below the video whether you think. Oh, 
I don't know. I quite like the heart. And I'm I'm not sure that I want to put a different colour on because I kind of want it to match the ink, but I'm wondering if the flowers may be a bit big. No, I'm going to stick with my original idea and stop procrastinating and, and, and changing my mind. See, this is why I don't make a lot of cards, apart from the fact that they're way out of my comfort zone anyway. And I'm going to pop a couple of glue dots. Actually, it's probably easier to press the flower onto the glue dots rather than trying to bring the glue dots. I'll just have one more. Trying to bring the glue dots. Oh, Karen, it helps if you actually put the, the dot on the right bit of the flower. I told you it's been a long day. Um, oh, I might as well have one on every petal, so that'll make sure it stays stuck. I think one of the petals has got two glue dots, but hey, that's okay. Let's be extravagant just for this once. And I'm going to grab my scissors and actually... Um, just nick that little bit of thread if I can so that it's not sticking out there we go there we are so I'm going to pop this flower onto here and hopefully that's straight because you only get one shot at it when you've got glue dots on so that pops the flower just a tiny little bit and I'm going to pop just a couple of dimensionals on there. Stick it on the bottom of a card. And just put that fairly centrally underneath here. That'll do. So it lifts it up a little bit using the dimensionals and it just saves the whole card being flat. Um, mm, I think that's okay. It's going to have to do anyway because I'll just keep changing my mind and I'll never actually finish the card if I, if I faff about anymore. Now, I don't have Calypso Coral glitter dots like um, these ones on the last card so I'm going to cheat a little bit and I'm going to grab my... Um, in colour faceted dots and I'm actually going to use these ones because it's terracotta tile but I think it's quite a good match actually for um, the Calypso Coral so I'm going to put a little dot beside my wee birdie and I think oops come on some of these their glue doesn't want to come with them I'm going to pop um yeah I'll pop one of those oh now that didn't bring its glue with it but if I go back to uh, my glue dots I can fix that because that fits perfectly on there so I'm going to stick that in that space there and I think I'll take one the same size because I don't want things too big and pop one Hmm, where am I going to put this? I'm going to pop it just, I think I'll pop it on that, mm, pop it on the pen or on here, see what I mean? <laughs> I can never decide what I'm going to do. Right, that'll do Karen. Um, stop footer in a boot as they say um, and I think that will do for my card so I'm quite happy with that given that uh, as you can probably tell cards are way out of my comfort zone so that's the first one that I made slightly different size um, but similar just the same and that's the one I've just made just now and, and I'm okay with that um, and I am going to be sending these to a couple of crafty friends and by the same time you see this video I'm hoping that, that Trisha will have got her card in the post as well um, I will put a link in the description bar below uh, to Trisha's blog and her YouTube channel she's got lots of fabby stuff and that's just finishing off again with the beautiful card and tag that Trisha sent to me in the post so 
Who do think it that Karen would actually be making some cards? And I know there are certainly a couple of crafty friends who will be laughing and saying, there you are, you that says that you're never going to make cards. So I hope you like them. I'm okay with them. Um, and I'd like to know what, what you think about the two bits of stamping here or the flower on, on that one. So... Um, Comments are always welcome, constructive of course, but uh, let me know what you think. And that's it for now. Uh, thanks for watching and I hope I'll see you again soon. If you want to subscribe to my channel then that would be lovely. And remember to click on the little bell so that you get notified of any other videos that I post. Thanks to those that have subscribed already. I am trying to get to 100 subscribers. So if you can help with that, that would be very much appreciated. Um, and take care and I'll see you again soon. Good night.